to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys today a new concealer I've been testing out for a few weeks now and it is the NARS <laughs> Sheer Matte Concealer. So this one has been released fairly recently, it's been making the rounds and I've heard really good things about this concealer. Now everyone is in love with the NARS Creamy Concealer, the one that is in the tube and I quite like it but I think I liked it as much as I liked my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's almost the same consistency and it was a lot cheaper. So I was kind of like, well, could kind of go for a drugstore as opposed to getting a high-end concealer. Whereas this one, when this was released, I was mildly interested, um, partially because of all the really good reviews and I wanted to try it for myself. So I bought a pot and let me tell you all about it. This version of the NARS concealer obviously comes in a little pot. Um, it is a cream formulation and I've got this in the shade medium dark 2 in caramel. So I tested all the shades in store and this one comes the closest to my skin tone I think. Um, I'm kind of in between a kind of pale but getting a bit of a tan period so a bit of a mixture but I think this one suits me really well. Let me show you what the shade looks like. I'm just going to just rub a little bit of product with my finger. It is extremely warmed yellow toad as you can see here. And if I put it on the back of my hand, there you go. You can see it's quite a good match. The back of my hand is obviously a little bit paler than the rest of my face. So I thought this one worked really well with my skin tone as well. And you can also see that they blend really well like that. It takes just a few pats and it just kind of blends into the skin, which is a really, really nice formula. Now I think the concealer retails for about $21 to about $24 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've been trying to Google what the cost of the concealer is, but my Wi-Fi is not working. So I'll leave details down below in the comments box. So let me tell you why I really like this. It's because I can use it for both under my eyes as well as on any parts of my face which really needs it. At the moment, I do have it underneath my eyes. I think we can see that. Now I have really dark and deep under eye circles. Um, I tend to stare at my computer screens a lot and I read in the dark, which is the most horrible thing that you can ever do. So I probably wouldn't suggest it, but it does mean that I have really dark under eye circles. Um, and I think part of it is probably genetic as well. I've never been able to find a concealer which can completely cover up um, my dark circles. And I've tried a number of different uh, color correctors as well, trying to get rid of the kind of blueness underneath my eyes but it's always looked a little bit unnatural. So I've kind of grown used to seeing the darkness under my eyes. It's kind of like I'm used to it. And if anything covers it up a little bit too much, if I'm using a really thick concealer, I tend to think I look a little bit odd. So I'm not a fan of completely erasing the dark circles. But what I really like about this is because it's such a lovely coverage, a sort of medium, buildable coverage so I can sheer it out if I need to and I can also build it up if I want it to and I find that just a couple of swipes is really good for uh, mostly covering up a lot of the darkness under my eyes um, and I just have to be a little bit careful about the inner corners to not make it look a little bit too unnatural. So you can see just underneath my eyes a lot of this part um, I've managed to blend sort of into my skin so it doesn't look as bad as it's gonna be but I've also made sure not to take out the entire darkness because I think on me just personally it looks a little bit weird but I can also see that it works really well on the rest of my skin so let's say I've got a little bit of spots here if I take a little bit of the concealer and just kind of pat it in And it just, it blends incredibly well. It's just really, really lovely. And obviously it's not gonna take out all the texture, but it will cover up sort of any redness or any kind of pigmentation that you want to. And I think it just looks 
really really nice i find that it is easy to use super blendable and just really soft as well and that's why it's called the soft matte and if you were going to cover up any kind of skin pigmentation or acne um, the matte formula is really good because you're not going to get this kind of shiny dewy finish um, which the creamy concealer is more akin to so it's going to not slip and slide across your face. I also find this works really well under a foundation, over foundation, it just again feels really lightweight on the skin and performs really really well. I can see why a lot of people really like it. The only thing I can think which is a con is because and it's kind of in like a little pot so I'm not a fan of continually dipping my fingers in and getting the product out. I think it kind of just contaminates the product and also I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do when it reaches the end whether I can scoop up the product with some sort of spatula. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard and I'm also not sure whether it's gonna dry out as well. So it's packaged in a thick kind of plastic and then it's just got a slightly rubberized cap over it. So this kind of packaging makes it feel a little bit flimsy um, and I'm a bit concerned as to whether it would dry out and become less malleable um, and I'll find it a bit difficult to blend it as well. I think this is a great little concealer to try so if you're in the market to want to try out a new concealer something that has a little bit of uh, more coverage and especially if you're kind of oily skin I think even this might be a little bit too matte if you have really dry skin um, but it still feels really really nice on the skin it's very very lightweight and I think you can also sheer it out uh, particularly if you just want a little bit of coverage as well so would definitely recommend um, um, and I think it would probably repurchase as well um, if there's nothing else new that comes along the way which I'm sure there will be and I'm sure Nars will come up with another concealer down the line but in the meantime I'm a really big fan. That's it for today. If you like this video, please, please do click the a thumbs up button down there and click the like button and leave me your comments down below whether you've tried the NARS Soft Matte Concealer or if you have a favourite concealer that you would definitely recommend. I would love to hear your comments down below and if you're new to this channel, um, do subscribe if you want to see more and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!